Hello Virgo, thank you so much for checking out this video. This will be your you versus them love reading. This will be a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Virgo watching. Feel free to check out your other placements for more messages. Time is fluid, so whatever situation I talk about today could have already happened, be currently happening or happen in the near future, and roles can be reversed. So even though I say Virgo is gonna be on one side and the other person on the other, you can flip the roles as they resonate. All right, Spirit, what messages do you have for Virgo regarding the person they are thinking about? What messages do you have for Virgo regarding the person they are thinking about? Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, oop, shared, subscribed, or commented on the videos recently. I really appreciate it. I read all of your comments. So thank you. Okay, what messages do we have for you guys? We have Yin and higher power beautiful i love these two cards together they're just so beautiful so what i'm going to do is i'm going to read these particular messages from the book because this oracle book they have um <clears throat> they have a specific section for relationship messages and so that's what i want to focus on today so for yin it says let others take the lead right now your power lies in small gestures soft awareness and conscious surrender by yielding the reins, you will find yourself effortlessly moving closer to what you truly desire. Permit others to tell you who they are and who they can be to you by allowing their actions to speak about them. You will be pleasantly surprised. Interesting that I have that with higher power. Okay, so let's read the higher power one. It's time to address how much effort you give to your relationship with your higher power called God, God is spirit, or any other name that is sacred and holy. Recognize that your partner with spirit is your number one priority. The appearance of this card also indicates that there is a deep spiritual bond between you and another person who is essential to your growth and evolution. Tend to your spiritual connections and remain aware of your true nature. I really love those messages together. I would have never, I feel like those two Oracle cards are meant to be together even though they're obviously different. Um, so here I feel like with Yin, it's a message about letting go and kind of allowing people's actions to speak for them. And then with four, the higher power card, I feel like um, there's a deep spiritual bond between you and another person. And I think you want to kind of let it develop naturally um, kind of see what this person's actions will tell you about them and about the future of a connection. That's what I'm getting. So let's see what the tarot has to say. Spirit, what messages do you have for Virgo regarding the person they are thinking about? All right, messages for Virgo and the person they are thinking about, Spirit. Messages for Virgo and the person they are thinking about. I just saw the Hermit card, Virgo. One more messages for Virgo and the person they are thinking about. All right, let's start with your current energy. Spirit, tell me the current energies between Virgo and the person they are thinking about. Thank you. We start off with the Wheel of Fortune. Wow. Intense. What are the current energies between Virgo and the person they are thinking about, Spirit? What are the current energies between Virgo? and the person they are thinking about. Thank you. Six of Swords. Wow. Virgo, change, movement with the Wheel of Fortune here and the Six of Swords. I'm definitely getting that the wheel has turned and it's causing you to walk away from a situation here. Bottom of the deck, Page of Cups. You could be heading towards a Page of Cups type of energy, someone offering you a token of appreciation, some initial interest um, in wanting to offer you love. Um, I feel like this person could live at a distance from me with the Six of Swords. Doesn't have to be, but I am really getting that there is definitely energy here about something not being the same with the Wheel of Fortune and the Six of Swords. Like something, you're definitely cutting something out, ending something, starting something completely new here. So let's start with your energies, Virgo. You're gonna be here on the right and the other person's gonna be on the left. But like I said, feel free to flip the energies. Spirit, tell me about Virgo and what they are thinking or feeling regarding this person they are thinking about. 
What are Virgo's thoughts and feelings towards this connection? Okay, we have the High Priestess and Eight of Pentacles. So intuition here, something could not could that's probably not being said or communicated. What else is Virgo thinking or feeling? Oh my God, my cards. Okay, fine, I'll take those. One fell on the floor. Give me a second. I hate when I drop them on this side. Okay. We have the higher font. Interesting. Sign of Taurus. And then the lovers flipped over as well. I'll keep those two and then I'll take these back. Eight of Wands, bottom of the deck. Could be dealing with a Taurus or a Gemini. Doesn't have to be. But what I'm getting here is very strong connection here. A connection you want to work on. Um, commitment. A bond. You know, I'm thinking about the Oracle cards here. A very deep spiritual bond with someone with the lovers. I feel like your intuition has led you here to this person or will be leading you to this person. Um, but I'm also getting the energy of some someone not speaking up or not sharing something. I am going to clarify all of these. So let's move on to the person you are thinking about. Spirit, what are the energies for the person Taurus? No, not Taurus. Taurus is right here. Virgo is thinking about. So the Five of Pentacles came out. This person is probably feeling shut out. Tell me more about the per other person. What are their thoughts and feelings towards Virgo, please? What are this person's thoughts and feelings? Thank you. Towards Virgo. What are this person's thoughts and feelings, please? Towards Virgo and this connection this person's thoughts and feelings towards Virgo we got the six of cups and the five of pentacles this could be someone from your past or again there is a special bond here past life thank you past life connection or something like that this person though feels shut out with the five of pentacles and the six of cups um, they might be wanting to reconnect with you, Virgo, um, or it could just be that in the past you shut this person out um, that could be as well. Then I got here the Sun and Ten of Cups. So I feel like this person is very happy when they think about you. Um, this person could be wanting a happy life, a peaceful life, a family. So those are very beautiful energies here. But again, I am getting the sense someone's a little bit shut out here. Um, you know what I just got? Someone, I feel like they're alone out here with their feelings. Why am I getting that? I feel like this person is kind of like just feeling like they're the only ones that are thinking of the connection this way or something. We're going to clarify and see. Let's start with the current energies. Tell me about this Wheel of Fortune. Thank you. Three of Pentacles. Hmm. Anything else for this Wheel of Fortune for Virgo and the person that they are thinking about? Thank you. What's this? The Fool. Okay, I feel like you guys are moving towards some something or someone that can actually build a foundation. You're taking a leap of faith on something. Tell me about the Six of Swords. Thank you. Yeah, something ended. You're walking away from possibly a relationship here. Or um, there's been a transformation. Again, I am getting the sense something will never be the same for you, Virgo. I don't know if it's you personally or this connection, something here um, will never be the same. It could be a Scorpio that you're dealing with. It doesn't have to be. Um, one of you, you or the other person have made a complete change, have made a decision to leave a situation, to end something and start a new journey. Um, take a leap of faith on something. I'm also getting some of you dropped baggage and are now feeling lighter. I'm getting that a lot of you or some of you are feeling lighter and feeling like the world is your oyster. Like you have opportunities now. So let's see what this high priestess is all about. What's this high priestess all about for Virgo? This is high priestess about tell me more spirit. Thank you. Wow. See eight of cups. Your intuition told you to walk away from this. 
bottom of the deck page of pentacles i feel i really do feel you're walking towards something else either a connection you know tell me about this eight of cups two eights right next to each other what about the eight of cups thank you four of cups yeah something was no longer right for you i feel like your intuition told you something was no longer right for you that you had better opportunities elsewhere I feel like you listen to your inner voice. Six of Wands or the deck. Tell me about this Eight of Pentacles. Again, I got with Eight of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles, I'm getting effort, work. Um, you want to put an effort in something, possibly yourself or just another relationship. Wow, that's a lot of cards, but let's just go with it. So I got the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Energy, and the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so some of you are working on putting effort into a long-term commitment here or something that has the possibility for a long-term commitment. Some of you could be married even. There you are, Virgo, with the Hermit. Listening again to your inner voice, going on a personal journey to get more answers. Um, you're seeking answers here with the Hermit. Um, and then here I have another couple, King of Wands, Queen of Wands. What is happening? Why do I have two sets of couples here? There's too many people here. If this is resonating with you, uh, tell me who these people are. <laughs> Why are there two couples here? Why are there two couples here? Uh, this is gonna bother me. I'm probably gonna get more into this in the extended, but my initial energy is that this, there's something off here. There should not be two couples here. That's my, my initial thought. Um, either one person left one relationship to go into another or there's two relationships happening side by side here there could be a third party situation with the three of pentacles um, but someone has walked away from one of these is what i'm getting someone wants to work on something here wants to put an effort on something um and i feel like that's what they're walking towards but yeah that's kind of strange there that there's two couples tell me about the hierophant this is how I found doing here. Thank you. Two of Pentacles. Okay, someone could have been juggling two people here. Some of you didn't know this person was married. That's for a very small number of you. Your intuition told you or let you know this person was married. You walked away. Others of you, you're trying to decide if this is the person for you, if this is the person you want to commit to. Um if you should approach this person, if you should accept an offer. Tell me more about this Two of Pentacles. Tell me more about this Two of Pentacles, please, for Virgo. Just, thank you. There's that Six of Wands. Wow, and with the Tower. Interesting. With the Tower and the Hierophant here, I feel like there was some, some sort of shakeup in a long-term commitment here. Something unexpected. Um, I feel like with the Six of Wands, uh, one person came out of this situation winning. Um, some of you could be wondering if you should start something else with the same person or if you should just go into something new here with the Fool. I feel like you are. Someone walked away from something here and I feel like it started with this tower. Someone else is seeing this as their chance there. Their chance though, with the Six of Wands, they're like, aha, finally I can go in I can get recognized now. I can have victory now. But with the two of pentacles, someone here is either juggling, again, two people going back and forth, weighing the pros and cons of something. And it could have to do with this connection. Tell me about the lovers. Sign of Gemini. Thank you. Two of cups. Wow, the lovers and the two of cups. So this is definitely... I feel like soulmate energy, divine union. Um, I feel like this is what you're headed towards, Virgo. If you haven't met your soulmate yet, I feel like they're around the corner. I feel like it started with an ending with the Ten of Swords that has opened up the door now. I feel like with yin and higher power, it's almost like let go and believe, right? Let go and believe in this change. So let's look over here at this other person that you are thinking about. Tell me about the five of, oh my gosh. Okay. 
got the hangman and the emperor. Interesting. Could be an Aries that you're dealing with. This person with the, the emperor and the hangman, they are very conflicted. This person um, wants to take action, wants to take matters into their own hands, but they can't. Probably because they feel shut out. Uh, Seven of Pentacles under the deck. That's the card that fell out here. Um, this person is looking at the past, wondering if something will happen. Tell me about the Six of Cups. That's the Six of Cups here for Virgo's person. Tell me about the Six of Cups. Okay. We got Seven of Cups, Knight of Wands, Five of Wands. So what I'm seeing here is especially with the six of cups. Um, someone had a lot of options here with the five of wands, seven of cups. I'm getting fighting over each other type of energy, competing for someone's attention. Um, someone could have been in and out of your life, which caused confusion and conflict here with the six, with the knight of wands. I'm sorry. This person could be a past, con past connection or a past life type of connection. Um, but I'm getting here. There, there's someone is daydreaming too about rushing in. Um, I feel like it wouldn't be a good idea though with a five of wands, possibly because this person over here is in a relationship of some sort or the timing isn't right. Eight of swords and the, the deck. So this person, I feel like they know, um, they know what they want, but they're stuck. Tell me about this. Oh my gosh. Tell me about the sun. Tell me about the sun. I feel like at some point this person um, was very happy in this connection. You or them. Why is the sun here, spirit? Two of Swords. Interesting. This person's in their head about this. There's a lot of confusion, hesitancy on this side. The energy that I'm getting is someone who does not think he can, he or she can move forward. Nine of Wands. There's, yeah, this person is a little paranoid, worried. They've been through a lot here. Um, they don't give up, but they're like the Wounded Warrior of the deck. I have the four of wands or the deck. Why do I have the four of wands or the deck? Page of Pentacles, strength. So this person, they're not giving up on their happiness. Could be a Leo that you're dealing with. Um, yeah, this person wants to communicate with the eight of wands. Um, they, they do not want to give up on this connection. Uh, even though they've been put through the ringer, they're probably tired of you know, the back and forth or the undec indecision or they're tired of the drama. They're tired of not being able to make their move, whatever it is. It's not keeping this person from rushing in here is what I'm seeing. Tell me about the 10 of cups. This person could have a family already. Or they see you as their end all be all like their ultimate happiness. Tell me about the Ten of Cups for Virgo's person. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, they're going to come in and make this offer, Virgo, because this is what they want. They want... Yeah, they're going to tell you. Eight of Wands are in the deck. They're going to tell you that this is what they want. It's going to be up to you to decide. I feel like some of you are going to go on a whole new journey altogether. Some of you are not going to even look at this person because this Six of Swords... And this um, death card, they have the this six of swords is walking away for we're leaving both of these cards, even the eight of cups. Their back is to this person over here. So I do feel some of you might reject this person. Others of you are going to make are going to walk towards your soulmate, whoever that is. You might know this person. You might not with the fool. Thank you so much for checking out this video, Virgo. Please like or subscribe if you enjoy the content. Let me know if this resonated with you in the comments. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care.